Hey guys, this is Eric from Pinshape. Um, this series is going to be to help people out that already know how to model, but want to specifically learn a few tips on modeling for 3D printers. So specifically like FDM printers, so ones that you can uh, get at home, um, ones that are coming down in price remarkably. I think the cheapest one I can see right now is like $200 you look on Kickstarter. Um, anyway, so um, what we're going to learn here is about the 45 degree rule. Uh, basically what I'm illustrating here is when a model starts being printed, um, the first layer, the raft, first layer gets put down and then it starts building up. Um, a lot of people can sometimes run into issues with overhangs and then they get that little that stringy crap that kind of is just plastic that doesn't have anything to support underneath it and it just falls. Uh, looks really gross, you have to clean it up. Not a lot of fun to do. But basically the 45 degree rule, um, that's your angle of safety. Um, obviously if things are building up, that's at a 90. 45 would be half of that. Um, if you're making something a little bit more organic, it's kind of like a cartoon monkey, um, you might run into issues if you start getting really detailed with your sculpting. Um, things, if you're going really realistic, uh, anything that'll be overhang, like anything under the oculus, um, uh, those uh, cuffs, anything like that, um, unless you plan ahead of time on how you want to model those, uh, you want to make sure that you don't have too many overhangs. That 90 and then that 45 within that box, that's pretty much your safety line. Uh, pretty much any FDM printer right now should be able to print at that angle, no problem. Uh, there is a little bit of we leeway um, above and below that line of about 10 to 12 to 15 degrees. So about 55 degrees on that upper one or 35 on that lower. Um, that first uh, one will be about 35. So you kind of want to make sure that you uh, look at your angles uh, and everything before you send anything to the printer. Um, Basically, the reason you want to look at it, this type of thing is if you're frugal like me and you want to maximize uh, the amount of filament that you have and don't waste it on a failed print, um, something like this is if you take the design into account, then you won't have to use any support structure. Uh, this monkey here can be built without any support structures, uh, which means that it's not only a shorter print time, but uh, you're not going through whole lot of your uh, $120 spool of filament, which is always annoying if uh, you go through a quarter of it and it just ends up with a failed print. Uh, this is a model from Bogdan over on Thingiverse. Uh, this basically is, can be used to, if you download this SDL, you'll be able to test your own printer, uh, see where its overhang strengths and weaknesses lie. Um, every printer is different, every slicer is different, um, but those, if you go through that, I think the, the, the most extreme angle is about 30 degrees, um, looking down on that, um, but yeah, that top one. Um, pretty much, you just want to make sure that your designs are work well within that, and uh, yeah, it should help. Um, this is the first of a series. Uh, we're going to be making some more tutorials to help uh, people out. And uh, I think that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, happy modeling.